welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee and this is How Dee Does It. I mentioned in the last video when I did the July subscription box for Daily Charm that I would be doing mermaid nails. So I hope that I don't disappoint you. My nails are already prepped and we're ready to go. And what I'm doing now is just going in with a nude. It is from Raya's Nails. The colors are 031 and 022. And I just layer the 022 on top of the 031. Everything that I am using in today's video, I will link in the description box below. So the next three colors that I'm using are from Daily Charm, and I'm just going to ombre one color into the next. I'm going to use S29 Lucky Sunstone, and that is the pinkish color, and then the next color is the S38 in the stars, and that is the purple color, and then I'm going to use S36 Dreamweaver, and that is the blue color. The ombre does not have to be perfect because I am going on top with the glitter. So you can see me now just trying to make sure that there is no um, rough lines or the polish is not clumped up. And then just trying to do a little bit of an ombre. I have to be 150% honest. These Twinkle Flash gel polishes are so beautiful. I chose the purple and the color shifts in it alone was to die for. So while applying this polish is so satisfying, I'm going to let a little bit of music play. And the video is quite sped up because it's 19 minutes long. But stay till the end. It is worth it. I promise you. Um, before I do go, if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you don't mind smashing that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you'll know each and every time a new video is uploaded and if you like the content that you are seeing if you don't mind giving the video a like and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these uh twinkle flash gel polishes <laughs> See, look, I told you they are, and this is just with one coat. I do go in and do two coats to the ombre nails. And so now I'm going in with the S38 in the stars. And I'm going to add that to my pinky, my pointer finger, and my thumb. And I do go in with three coats on that. Some of this is repetitive, so I only show it one time. <laughs> I didn't want to overcomplicate these nails and I wanted to keep them pretty much on the simple side. I think that the goal of my channel moving forward is to do nails that are both beautiful but also nails that don't take a long time to do them and they're not too complicated. So just to know a little bit about me, um, by day I am a project manager and my job is so super stressful and doing nails is the one thing where my mind can 
be set free and I can get lost. So when I say that polishing nails is so satisfying, I truly mean it because my mind can escape in every brush stroke. I love painting nails. All right, so off camera, I did go in and top coat my pinky thumb and pointer fingers. And now what you see me doing is actually top coating the accent nails. And then I'm going to apply the glitter. So these three glitters did come in the July box as well. So in the pink and maybe up in the nude area, I'm using the white. Um, because the pink really was too bright for the pink that I used in the nail set today. And then in the purple section, I'm going to use the purple glitter. And then in the blue section, you got it. I'm using the blue glitter. And I'm just, you know, sprinkling it on here and there just to, it's the right amount. Not too much because I still do want to see the colors below. I know you're going to get tired of me saying it, but every time my nail moves and I see that color shift from that iridescent glitter and it is just so beautiful. I cannot get enough of it. I mean, I really could have stopped right here because the glitter did just take it up a notch, but I'm going to do something else and, and push it on over the edge. I want these to say mermaid without saying mermaid, if that makes sense. Like I'm not going to have any water nails or any mermaid fins, but when you look at them, I want mermaid to pop into your mind. And I think I achieved that. The next thing that I do is seal all that glitter in so that I can give it a quick little buff. And I'm just using the diamond shine top coat to do this. And keep in mind that it may look like I'm filing it aggressively, but I'm not. The video is sped up quite a bit to keep the length down. And as I'm buffing, I'm going in and touching it to see if any of the surfaces need to be buffed a little bit more. And then once I'm finished, I do dust the nail off and then wipe it with alcohol. And the final thing that I'm gonna do to the nail before I actually do the other piece of the art is wipe it with alcohol. All right, so now what I'm doing is going in with some rhinestone glue. I believe this one is from Not Polish. And then I'm going to add some embellishments that came from the July box and other boxes that I've received from Daily Charm. And I believe the gold seashell or clamshell and the star I purchased off of AliExpress. If I can find a link to that, I will link that in the description box as well. So to be honest, there was no plan of what I was doing. I kind of just let the items speak to me and then I just align them. I'm just randomly picking things and literally placing them on the nail until I get the look that I want to get for this nail. I knew that I wanted to use the turtle and that clam shell and a star um, for this one. And then I have three other large things that I'm going to use on the other nail and you'll see that here shortly but the in between and the rhinestones and the glass um gem mix all of this is just totally random So the next thing that I'm doing is just taking this glue and sealing in all of the little bits. I'm not going over any of the little rhinestones. Um, and also I'm going underneath the turtle and the clamshell just to secure that into place. So now I'm on the next nail and this conch shell really gave me a run for my money as you can see. So I'm going to let the rest of the music play and I'll come back at the end of the video at the reveal. Oh 
okay i just wanted to quickly pop back in just to let you know what i'm doing around and up under the conch shell since it is seated up a little higher and it kind of just sticks off or up off the nail i did go in and put some rhinestones up under it so that it wouldn't get caught up on anything So after I'm finished with the placement of everything, I do go in and cure it for 60 seconds. And then I do go in with one last top coat over these two nails just to secure everything in. And finally, I'm just going to put on some cuticle oil to bring them back to life. And here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. There are more to come, so please stay tuned. And before I go, I did want to show you the pictures in daylight because they look a little bit different than up under the LED light. They are definitely more sparkly and more beautiful. Anyway, that's all for now. Take care. Bye.